So this is the primary chicken coop. Um, it holds right now, I think six uh, road bars and uh, barred rocks. I can't, I always get them mixed up. The one of the tractors, the other kind. But um, pretty much these are the first chickens that I ever got. And they, uh, they've been in this coop, ever, this coop ever since. And we actually had this section out here um, was two more paddocks. So there was four paddocks in total. And uh, I mean, they stripped this down to the bare, the absolute bare mud. Uh, so it was pretty bad for a while. Um, so once I added this area over here, um, I let them out here and it looks bad right now. Um, and that's all because so many projects coming at me. It's, I mean, just really, really quick. And um, I kind of let it go. So what's to come? Well, what's going on out here? Well, what I'm going to do here probably in a couple of weeks is uh, come through and really scratch the ground up real good in this first paddock. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all the stuff that's in here, that box, this maggot bucket, a couple other things. And I'm going to put down a clover mix. Um, I can't remember what the clover is. Um, I'll do a video about it later on. But basically, um, lay down some clover seeds and I'll tarp it with a, um, a clear tarp. That'll keep the ground warm and it'll make everything grow really well and it'll get ready for the birds to come onto this. Once that's finished, um, and I'm, I'm turning the birds loose, that same day, I'm going to do this paddock the same way. Again, covering it with, um, with seed and then covering it with a tarp to where the bird, uh, this has time to, to grow and then the birds will come over here. Hopefully I can manage this to where the birds kind of flip-flop pretty readily or pretty uh, on, uh, as often as possible and I won't have to continue to seed. Um, that's going to be kind of a, a nice little project that um, and an experiment. Also with these beds, um, I'm going to be building another one of these, another one of like the top, this top comes off. And what I'll do is put this top over there and um, at the end of the year when we want these beds to be worked, I'll make a little tunnel into that one and then off of this one into this one so the birds can get in here and really do some work. Kind of cool, huh? All right, so inside the coop. When I got here, this thing was just a hollow barn. I mean, there wasn't anything in here. It was really dilapidated and stuff like that. Well, I came in and build, built this wall right here and put chicken wire up and pretty much you know just built this this is a very very simple project um, built the door and built some places for them to uh for them to uh sit on and that was pretty much it i mean this is a basic coop uh they've got their watering over here in the corner that's it they can get up here and uh roost at night but uh this has been sufficient for a very long time um that's their water bucket I pour it in here and it goes down into uh, so they can have a uh, drink right here you pour uh, the um, the food down in this tube and it comes out the bottom and you may not be able to see it but it's just more PVC pipe down there for them to eat out of so that's pretty much the coop very simple